Antelope. Today I'm in City Park. I'm targeting eel and catfish. Real quick before the sun goes down, let me show you my rig. It's a pretty simple rig. There's the lead and the lead line, which leads up to a three-way swivel, main line tied there, and then there's the hook. And that's like a size five French circle hook, I, I believe. And I'm using two different kinds of bait. Let me show you. This is what we have tonight. Shrimp and dead shad. These are fresh shrimp, and these have been on ice for about a week. And they smell pretty good, but they're not too soft yet. Just right. Now, I am targeting catfish and eel. And catfish and eel, you know, they like stinky stuff. But eel particularly like to, uh, to go after stuff that's pretty stinky. They're scavengers. And in my experience, the eels here in City Park like shrimp a lot. But we'll see what this will do. This will probably get us some cats. Now this is a back lake. It's a little down from Big Lake on, on the uh, nicer side of the park, not the wild side. And it just got done raining about an hour ago. It rained most of the day, so let's see what I can do. We're going to fish until until, you know, I don't know, until I want to go home. <laughs> so I've placed the, uh, the shrimp line right in front of that oak tree touching the water. And the line that we have the dead shad on is at distance, a little bit past the middle of, of the lake here. What I'm going to do throughout the evening here is move the baits around. I'm going to keep them where they're at for about 10-15 minutes and then try new spots. It's been one of those days with a lot of rain and it's it's cooling off right now. There's a cold front coming. Who knows what to expect out of the fish. There's some activity out there, but not much. Got to find the fish. I think I'm okay right now. Let's just see what happens. I've already been fishing for about 40, 45 minutes and I've tried to retrieve this left hand rod that's got the dead shad on it and as soon as I got about more than halfway in I hit what I, I was hoping not to hit there's a dead sunken log to my left and I caught caught it unfortunately I caught it hard and I had to break the line so I've already lost gear I've changed my rig a bit I am now using a longer leader with a slip weight with dead shad still and I am still fairly confident in my right hand rod which is the shrimp and is placed about not too far from me in front of a, a tree overhanging tree which is a good place to get eel <clears throat> so this one is not as far out as I had it this left hand rod it's in front of me about 40 feet I've been seeing some activity I've seen at least one catfish tail break the water got my first fish on. Feels like a cat. He hit the shrimp. Here he comes. You see him? Let's get him in the net. There he is in the net. Look at that. Nice. Ooh, he's got some life to him. Look at that. Nice fat channel cat. All right. I'm not keeping fish tonight. I'm going to let him go. He's going to have a chance in a lifetime to get bigger. Check that out. Nice.
it's now going on 7:30. The conditions are starting to change. There's a breeze coming in, and there's a football game across the way at the stadium. I haven't had uh, any other bites, and I kind of don't like sitting here listening to the football. So I'm gonna go try one more spot, then I'm gonna head home.